The GOP's third presidential debate is tonight, and one topic on many young voters' minds is climate change. A national poll shows it's one of the top three issues for voters, even above immigration and abortion rights. National climate reporter Chase Kane shows us how millions of first-time voters could decide key swing states in 2024. A massive climate protest through Manhattan highlighted what could be a key to the 2024 election, independent voters who prioritize the planet. I personally am very moderate. I don't consider myself a Democrat or Republican, but I am here because climate change is the most important priority. She's among a record number of Americans, 49% who don't identify with either political party, and that could make it more difficult to predict who ends up here in 2024 along with another national poll, which shows climate change a bigger priority than ever before. Voters ranking it the number three issue behind inflation and health care and ahead of abortion. To young people, this issue is not partisan. It's, it's truly about the planet. And we don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat. We want actions on climate change. The vast majority of young people feel that way. Benji Backer founded the American Conservation Coalition to engage Republican politicians on climate action. Raise your hand if you Despite do. only one candidate making their support clear in the August debate, it is being talked about. First of all, yes, is climate change real? Yes, it is. And for both sides, it could be a winning issue, the winning issue. In 2020, these five swing states were decided by roughly 210,000 votes. In 2024, the nonpartisan Environmental Voter Project has identified 1.2 million voters in those same states who rank climate change their top issue, but didn't vote last time. They're already registered to vote. They know what they believe. They just don't show up that often. And for those of us who care about climate change, they're the gold mine. They're the people who are going to determine who wins and loses so many elections in 2024. In Pennsylvania, Nathaniel's team has already helped get 183,000 climate first voters to the polls this year during early voting. That's more than double the number of votes which decided the 2020 race in this swing state. And keep in mind, independents can vote for Republicans in three of the four early states. We're so used to thinking of climate as a fringe political issue, which, to be honest, it was maybe six or eight or ten years ago. But it's not that way anymore. So if you are a Republican candidate who wants to get some of those independent votes, you might want to rethink the political calculations around how you talk about climate change, especially when young people decide to show up. Yeah. In Washington, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane.